It was only a year ago that voters delivered Donald Trump to the presidency. It feels much longer. Trump's Twitter storms and erraticism can seem to slow time. There was his initial travel ban, last January, followed by protests at airports, court injunctions, a new travel ban, further injunctions, and an intervention by the Supreme Court. Add to this his adventures in nuclear brinkmanship, his assault on Obamacare, his moves to tear apart the world's free trade system, and his use of the White House bully pulpit to normalize white supremacy. It may seem many months ago, yet it was only in mid-August that he took note of the very fine people attending a neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville, where a white nationalist murdered a counter-protester. Steve Bannon may think of all this as a strategy of disruption. But Trump's conduct rarely suggests deliberation, it more often seems to express his anger, his tiresome ego, and his instincts for performance. It requires fortitude to accept the likelihood that the Trump presidency is about to become more eventful still. The investigations into Vladimir Putin's interference in the 2016 election, and the possibility that Trump's campaign colluded with Russia, are intensifying. The accusation that Russian covert operations influenced the presidential vote clearly drives Trump to distraction. He has repeatedly denied that his campaign collaborated with Russia, and he insists that Putin's activity contributed nothing to his victory. Yet the latest revelations do not bode well for the president.